Getting your concealed carry permit and carrying a gun is usually pretty easy, but just because you carry a gun doesn't mean that you're ready to protect yourself or others. Simply having a gun does not make you a skilled protector any more than having a guitar makes you a musician. But in this video, I'm going to give you three practical tips that you can start doing today to become a better protector. What is up? If you are new here, my name is Will Workman, and I'm here to give you the skills, the tools, and the mindset to protect yourself and your family. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so that we can get this training past the algorithm. Now let's get right into the three practical tips to make you a better protector. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because the last one is literally a secret superpower. Invest in training. It sounds so simple, and yet over 90% of gun owners never take a class other than their required concealed carry class. Now this is crazy. That means that simply by going to one handgun class, you are in the top 10% of trained civilians. Think about that for a minute. Training classes are so much fun, and it really is incredible the amount of knowledge and skill that you can gain in a weekend. So whether you wanna be faster, more accurate, or just more comfortable with your handgun, literally taking one class can make that happen. And as it turns out, handgun classes are like Pringles. Once you have one, you just can't seem to stop. If you're interested in taking one of our classes, then click the link in the description down below. The next tip is to carry more than a gun. Now it never ceases to amaze me the amount of concealed carriers that I meet that think they are all equipped and ready to fight an armed attacker, but they've never thought about an unarmed attacker. Or the concealed carrier who thinks that they are totally skilled and ready to take down an active shooter, but being equipped to stop the bleeding of the victims after the shooter is down has never even crossed their mind. You need more than a gun. Put very simply, if all you have is a hammer, then every problem can look like a nail. OC spray can be an incredibly effective tool against unarmed attackers and even dogs. A form of martial arts is also very valuable to have under your belt. You also need a trauma kit. Even if you win the gunfight, that doesn't mean that you or your loved ones won't get hit. It's very possible that you will have to deal with some life-threatening bleeding. Carrying a trauma kit and taking a Stop the Bleed class can go a long way in saving innocent lives. I've also used my trauma kit in car wrecks and hiking accidents. Before we get to the tip that virtually no one does anymore, if you are new to dry fire training or you just want to improve your handgun skills, I want to give you something that will really help you out, and that is my 10-day dry fire guide. Whether you're a master level shooter or you just bought your first handgun, this is 10 specific dry fire drills to help you improve your draw, your accuracy, and your speed, and it's completely free. So go check that out in the description down below. Are you ready for the last tip? It's an old ancient art form that pretty much every generation before ours did and almost no one of our generation does. Learn how to use the nunchuck very quickly for self-defense, you know, simple. Get them out of your face, smack them back. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Reading. Now before you roll your eyes, start to gag, or just leave this video, hear me out. Our generation is so obsessed with being entertained constantly, and no one is learning through reading. Now I get it. You're watching a YouTube video and you're learning right now. There are other ways to learn. But especially because most people don't read anymore, Reading is kind of a superpower. Reading can give you insights that most people don't have. Books on handgun shooting, trauma medical techniques, deadly force law, or just living a better life are things that can make a massive difference in preparing you for self-defense encounters. My two favorites that I've read this month are Deadly Force by Masad Ayyub and The Warrior Poet Way by John Lovell. There is incredible knowledge and skills to be gained. They're just hidden behind book covers and constantly interrupted by our constant distractions and content. So take a break from your screen, 
and go read. If you got value out of this video, then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and comment and let me know. And until next time, be alert, stand firm in your faith, be strong, be courageous, and let all that you do be done in love. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hit that like and subscribe button. Well, you, you know what I meant. No, you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid.